I believe in the idea of amnesty for those who have put down roots and who have lived here, even though some time back uh, they may have entered illegally. President Reagan did sign the sweeping new Immigration Reform Act today. He said it protects the sacred possession of American citizenship. We didn't call it amnesty, we called it legalization. We're able to escape the hammer blows from the left and the right and everybody else. Well, I was actually extremely hopeful that the law would work because many of the members that I represented in my local union uh, were undocumented. Senator Alan Simpson, a Republican from Wyoming, helped author the Immigration Reform and Control Act, along with Kentucky Democrat Romana Mazzoli. We brought up two bills, one on illegal immigration and one on legal immigration, and both passed. Well, the illegal immigration bill worked because everybody wanted to hammer the illegals. That's the ancient phrase today. So we did legalization, and three million people came out of the dark from 93 countries. The initial bill was seen as the answer to the country's immigration issues. It offered three solutions. Amnesty to illegal immigrants who came to the U.S. prior to 1982. Economic sanctions against employers who hired illegal workers. And a proposal to fortify the nation's borders. At the same time, granting amnesty wasn't a popular solution. This poll from 1984 shows that 55% of the country thought the government should arrest and deport illegal immigrants. But public opinion toward immigrants wasn't one-sided. A 1985 poll found that a majority of Americans believed recent immigrants were good, honest people and productive citizens once they became established. Unfortunately, the law itself was not comprehensive. The bill didn't work, didn't work at all. One of Simpson and Mazzoli's proposals was for what they called a new identifier for all immigrants, using biometrics or tamper-proof cards. The ACLU and the lefties came up and said, wait a minute, this is the slippery slope to, to a national ID card. Simpson watched as popular outcry against the identifier resounded within Congress. And Kennedy called me and said, my God, they've struck the identifier. The bill couldn't possibly have worked because it didn't have a more secure identifier and the employers were saying we're not the policemen of the world. If they can give us something we can count on, we'll do our job. According to Eliseo Medina, employers received warnings. It was the undocumented employees who lost their jobs or were deported. And unfortunately, the Congress at that time thought that the way to deal with it was just uh, having employer sanctions which the way they were implemented became worker sanctions, not employer sanctions. The teeth was always there in the labor laws, but no one ever enforced it. It didn't deal effectively with future flow of workers. And uh, because one of the things we knew is that as long as there was uh, uh, poverty in other countries, as long as there was war, as long as there were dictatorships, and as long as there were a need for immigrant workers, people would keep coming. The question is, how would they come? Would they come with uh, uh, rights? Would they come with protection? Would they come through a legal system? Or would they continue to come in undocumented fashion? And the problem would become more critical as the number of undocumented immigrants continued to rise. We kept saying to the community, the only way we're gonna be able to defend ourselves is if we all become citizens and if we all make our voices heard in the ballot box.